And a major focus of Armed Forces Day at the New York State Fair is all about honoring the men and women who are currently or who have served our country. It's also about educating our veterans on all of the services available to them. And there's a brand new research right now coming out of Syracuse University, their Institute for Veterans and Military Families, and especially a brand, brand new program. They just launched it. It's called Syracuse Serves. Joining us live now to talk about it is the program manager, Kiara Parker. Good morning, Kiara. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us on. Well, first, catch us all up on this. What is Syracuse Serves and exactly what new resources does it offer? Yeah, so Syracuse Serves is the 18th network for America Serves, which is a collaborative network of providers offering services and resources to veterans, service members, and military families. We're able to use a single stream method to ensure we connect the client with a provider with the most accuracy and the least amount of time. With that, we offer over 20 different service categories and have over 105 providers on our network. So these services range anywhere from healthcare to housing assistance to peer support. And we've got a lot of different providers working together to make sure that we offer those direct services or the appropriate referral, referral or resources for those veteran clients. That's really important resources. I know the program was introduced this year. Kiara, talk about what the need was like in our community here in Central New York, just bringing this initiative here to Syracuse. Yeah, so we've seen that a lot of the challenges that Syracuse veterans face, as well as their family members, are just a lack of knowledge of resources. Um, so what we do is we kind of cut the red tape for them. We make sure that we establish all of the eligibility requirements, any of the resources and the providers that are in their community. That way we can directly connect them to those resources and those providers. Um, what's great is that we have, as I said, that single stream method. So all of our providers are able to accurately track where the client is and their process. And if we need to intervene as the coordination center for Syracuse serves, then we can do that, making sure that that client gets the full rounded assistance that they need. And they're not having to retell their story over and over again. As we know, that can be extremely cumbersome um, when you know getting out of the service and looking for those resources that are needed. Yeah, because a lot of these men and women, Kiara, they're coming out of the service, the active duty, and they've never maybe been on a college campus, or if so, it's been a long time, right? Yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of programs at the IBMF specifically that offer direct resources for education and entrepreneurship. And then our coordination center helps to connect the clients for the services that we don't directly offer. So it's a really great system to be able to make sure that any of the services or resources that our service members or families are not aware of, then we can go ahead and connect them to them. Great, and Kira, our last question for you this morning is just how important is it, do you think, to have events like Armed Forces Day at a place like the New York State Fair? I think it's, in, it's extremely important as a military family member myself. Um, there's a lot of different services that, again, our service members, our military connected families just are unaware about. So it's extremely important for any veteran serving organization to really get out there and make sure that we bring the help to our veterans and the service members that we have, as well as their families. Kiara Parker, Program Manager for Syracuse Serves. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for everything that SU is doing for our, our, our veterans. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much, and we look forward to serving our veterans in the community. Thank Appreciate you, Kiara. Have a great day.